let's take a, a solved problem on time dilation. So there is a planet, an alien planet, and there is a clock A kept with uh, a person uh, at a relatively stationary point relative to a super fast train which on that planet is able to move at 200,000 kilometers per second, something impossible on Earth. Now the passengers sleep for 10 hours on that train. The question is, how much will that appear to the person who is stationary? For the passengers inside that train, they, their watches and their clocks are all together moving at the same speed. They are in an inertial frame. So they will see a sleeping time of 10 hours, which for them is the proper time interval. For the stationary person, if he looks at only his clock, he will see 10 hours, which for him is proper. But when the stationary person is looking at the moving train, for him, the passenger's sleeping time will appear to have got dilated, elongated, lengthened. So he will see that they are sleeping for a longer time than 10 hours. So the delta T improper is that longer time, that improper time interval. And that's equal to the proper time interval into the ratio gamma. We just uh, convert the velocity of the train uh, as uh, 2 into 10 to the power 8 meters per second. And that's in line with the way the velocity of light is expressed as 3 into 10 to the power 8 meters per second. And now we can calculate the improper time interval by plugging into the formula for gamma. We now substitute into the equation. We know that delta T proper is 10 hours. Gamma is 1 by square root of 1 minus V squared by C squared. Doing the maths, we will get the improper time interval as 13.587 hours. So what was actually 10 hours got elongated by 3.587 hours. That's what the stationary guy will see. And this is the concept of time dilation. Thanks and have a great day.